Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I have an Amazon favorites. I have so many good finds. It's not even a finds and favorites. At this point, I love all these things. So I cannot wait to share with y'all. Everything will be linked down below. You can also find even more Amazon recommendations over on my Amazon shop. Check out my latest Amazon try on haul if you haven't already. If you're looking for like clothes and how they fit and all that good stuff, I'll link it down below as well. And follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me. Anyway, I can't speak English already. Doing well. Let's get into it. I went on a bachelorette trip to Scottsdale, Arizona, and one of my friends wore the cutest Amazon swimsuit. You can see it over on my Instagram, because I don't want to just post a picture of her in a bikini on my YouTube channel, but she was wearing the cutest bikini ever, and it was from Amazon, and it was like 20 bucks. So I ran to Amazon as soon as I get home, and she was wearing it in like a really pretty blue it was like cobalt blue and light blue and i really wanted that one until i saw this one and you already know so it is this really pretty ribbed high quality bathing suit i love that the straps are adjustable in the back and it's super nice and stretchy i got a size medium because the listing said to size up and i do think it runs a little small and then this is what the bottoms look like they are higher waist Super, super flattering, a little bit cheeky. So if you're into more conservative bikinis, I don't think this might be for you because of the bottoms, but so flattering, so thick, great color selection. I love the like contrast and I love the rib material. I think it's actually super pretty and trendy and I'm obsessed. I definitely need the blue one though. It's just so cute. These are by far my favorite earrings that I've ever gotten off Amazon. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see them. I love any and all dangly earrings like this. You know, the ones that I always wear with like a little star. So I guess from just linking those so much, I got recommended these and I love that they have two parts. Let me take these off. So one of them is the little pearl chain. And the other one is just like a little chain, very dainty with like gold balls. So they're separate and they are so pretty. I wear them like casually all the time, but also they dress up an outfit so much. They're so cute and different. I feel like I've never seen anything like them before. And also this little hoop with the chain is also from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link it, but I'm obsessed and they're literally all 11 bucks. And my ears are super sensitive. I say this all the time when I link Amazon jewelry and they don't turn them blue or hurt or anything. I'm obsessed. So last year I found my favorite hairbrush of all time. It's called the Tangle Teaser and it's truly life changing. Like once you try this, you'll never go back to the wet brush or any other hairbrush. It is off Amazon and they have different kinds. This one I was using for both wet and dry hair. Then I purchased this one that is specifically made for like thick dry hair and I use them both. But I recently found that there's a bigger version of the original one. So as you can see, it's like slightly bigger. And to me, this is like so much better because I do have hair extensions. I have thicker hair when it's natural. So I thought I would give this one a try and I love it. So if you have a lot of hair and you struggle with that, I highly recommend going for the next size up. It's called the Ultimate Tangle Teaser. This is the original. Um, they're both amazing. They're both the exact same. This one is just a little bit bigger. My mom, after using mine at my house, asked me to give this one to her, so I will. There's so many fun colors. It just came out with some beautiful neutral pastel ones for spring. I am obsessed with this brand. And like I said, I will never go back to any other hairbrush. Ever since I got the crisscross high-waisted leggings from Amazon, I had to get more. So I decided to pick up the biker shorts version. And it's gonna be a little hard to see. Also, my daughter did indeed fill them with oatmeal, so they're sought. But they have a crisscross waist and I ended up getting the five inch ones without the pockets because I'm 4'11", I'm super short. Y'all, these are so stretchy, very flattering. They suck you right in and I feel like the crisscrossing is incredibly like flattering on your waist and you just look snatched. I think I got a size medium 
I want to say yes I got a size medium and they fit perfectly I will show you I'm obsessed with these I think they're worth every penny it comes in so many colors but I highly recommend the leggings the leggings are life-changing as you all know I wear fake glue-on nails from Amazon I can link them below and my baby's car seat buckle is truly my worst enemy like I've gotten bruises on my nails from it I've gotten nails that just slap off slap off no just come off <laughs> anyway so i saw this on tiktok i decided to try it out you basically put it on the buckle and you don't have to use your nails y'all it's amazing it was like five bucks off amazon comes in a bunch of different colors i really wanted one that had something to put in my car key so it would be kind of like in my keychain and it works so so well i'm so happy i found this i have an eight month old baby and we started her on solid about two months ago and i got so lazy and tired of using my big pots and pans to make her eggs or anything like oatmeal things like that for baby let weaning and other stuff so i decided to purchase this mini egg pan from amazon i literally used it just now to make her some banana oatmeal and it's so good it's like completely completely non-stick and it's less than 10 bucks super affordable and i just love the size it makes the cutest little omelets you can do so many other things with this so if you're also looking for something like this completely unnecessary but you're lazy like me i highly recommend okay is there a better way for me to show you this sure but this is just convenient so these my friend allison actually introduced to me and gave to me because I was wearing this backless dress. I really need a bra and this is just some sticky boobs. But why they're so amazing is because this unhooks and you can wear them a bunch of different ways. You can wear it like this, where like your boob is lifted up or you can wear it sideways and connect it right here. Y'all, we wore this, well, I wore this <laughs> in Arizona. It was super hot sweaty in clubs and it did not come off i was so impressed i ordered like two more yesterday because i was like i need to have a bunch of these if you're looking for amazing sticky boobs and you have like a larger chest i highly recommend i've had this for quite a bit and i'm kind of shocked that i haven't reviewed it on my channel yet i saw this on tiktok as i usually do i feel like every sentence of mine nowadays is like I saw on tiktok i heard on tiktok to really hydrate your skin and make it nice and plump and all this Stuff. I'm not a skincare expert by any means so I'm just sharing with you all what I saw and it made me want to purchase the serum so it's called the snail 96 mucin power essence and it's this very 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 thick what's going on very thick serum and you just apply it after toning and y'all it really feels like I'm giving my skin a big glass not even of water of liquid iv of a gatorade something that's like incredibly incredibly hydrating it just makes my skin in the morning look so plump and juicy i will say i definitely need to go in with something else afterwards because it does make it look juicy and hydrating however it doesn't fix any very very dry patches so that's the only thing i will say i definitely need to like maybe overcompensate with something else like a thick moisturizer to fix my nose situation because i have a lot of dry patches there but it's incredible a little goes a long way and it's only 20 bucks i've had it probably for i want to say three months now and that is how much i've used of incredible do your own research obviously you can find this on amazon at ulta a bunch of different places but so far it's probably one of my top favorite serums i've ever like applied on my skin because i can really really notice a difference the next morning i feel like i do a terrible job at self tanning i was using the isle of paradise tanning lotion it's supposed to be like this like lotion that's hydrating and it gives you like a very pretty warm glow i would call it more of like an orangey oompa loompa vibe if i'm being honest every single time i do it i always have streaks right here my hands are always orange no matter how much i exfoliate them and wash them after it's just really not my favorite product so i wanted to try out something similar and i follow this influencer that created this this is called Lux Unfiltered, and I was so excited when I saw it on Amazon. So, it is pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This little thing is like 30 bucks, but 
it works so much better than the other one the whole thing is that it's supposed to be a hydrating self tanning cream and it 100 is it literally feels like i apply lotion with a tint that's what it feels like the other one was incredibly drying even though it was lotion and the other one was like glitter it had like specks of glitter i just that was not my favorite if you've ever watched a video of mine when i have splotchy self tanner it's that's fault it smells like santal but there's another one called rosewood that i'd be interested to try so they have a ton of different self tanning products i just tried this one first but so far i love it as you all probably know i cannot live without coffee i could if i no i would if i could put a coffee iv on me in the mornings i probably would so being said i got an espresso two years ago and for the life of me i could not find an espresso pod that i like from the espresso brand so i decided to try the ones from starbucks i've tried all of them and this one by far is my favorite it is the blonde rose espressos and these are little cups they're only espresso shots so i use two of these to make my lattes in the morning and you can get a five pack off amazon they come super quick and they're the most affordable ones i mean like grocery stores targets they sell them too but these like five packs are the best i highly recommend trying some out before you purchase a five pack but if you already like these it's such a good deal i love 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 these and just like a life hack they're great in espresso martinis <laughs> don't ask me how i know i've made quite a few recently but these are so good and a better alternative than like buying starbucks every day but they taste really good they're very subtle and the coffee's pretty strong then i was looking for a pair of new balances i wanted like a fun pair of white sneakers i was still neutral but gave me some height and went with everything these are extremely neutral they're actually a little boring um and kind of like dad vibes or a frat boy but they're on amazon they had all the sizes available and they're actually pretty comfy i tried them on and i think they're pretty cute how do y'all feel about these shoes like the dad you know 90s dad frat boy shoe because i don't think they're super stylish they're so comfy which is probably why dads wear it but i think they're fun so i like that these are very plain and boring however for a little bit more i can get the hokas that are like the best shoes ever and i think i'm gonna do that instead because these were 75 and as cute as they are for like 50 dollars more i can get the hokas and i'm obsessed with those those are like extremely comfy and i can use them for running and stuff these i would say are more for like lounging every day at leisure situation i wouldn't run with these not that i run but i wouldn't necessarily like take them out um to work out in i wanted to share these mostly to ask for some recommendations because my daughter is at the age where she wants to sit up in the bath and kind of do more activities and i got her a bunch of toys but i also needed like ways to keep it safe and organized so i wanted to ask if any of you had any like baby toddler bath recommendations that i could try out but i got this non-slip bath matt this one has drainage holes because i don't want things to get moldy or gross so it has suction cups on one side and then the little drainage holes and it feels nice and cushiony which is good for her i really like this we'll try it out and i will update you um we've been needing to get something like this for our bath anyway and then i got this that i've been seeing all over tiktok this is called the munchkin toy organizer for the bath so you just like scoop them up and then it drains all the water out which is great uh and it comes with like this little suction mount so you can hang it and then these are just some bath toys that i thought looked fun i've been having too much fun shopping for my baby but this is what they look like they're like little bubbles and they all have different toys inside and it comes in a four pack she's gonna love these but please if anyone has recommendations wants to let me know any and all bath product for babies and toddlers let me know i would love to try them out because i'm definitely in the market a few more things especially for olivia i got this funky looking cactus that actually repeats everything it hears so i've been seeing it all over tiktok and it's actually really funny i was fully expecting her to get scared or cry 
like other babies did so she was actually like so confused i'll show y'all but it's a cool little gift but this thing is 23 dollars. is it worth that much i don't think so it also sings and stuff the only problem is mine is effective because this little battery um cover won't like close down it didn't come with the screw so i'm gonna exchange it for another one but i think this is really funny and then this i'm definitely returning this is like a huge set of musical instruments however she is a little too young and she keeps putting a lot of these things in her mouth it also kind of concerns me that these bells will come off even like for a toddler so i just wanted to put that out there just in case any of you were thinking about it because i do want her to play with like musical instruments but i do want it to be safe and i feel like these little pieces as fun as they are and like the noise is super fun for them i feel like they're not in there like really really good since this is like a cheaper made toy so i don't trust it um but it's definitely not for her age group either so she's like in the age where she wants to like put everything in her mouth and i just this situation is too dangerous for me if your kids are a little bit older this is such a good deal because you get so many for 20 bucks so guys those are all my current amazon favorites but of course i have way more to share with y'all so stay tuned for another one very very soon i know i've been kind of slacking a little with my amazon videos but don't worry a ton of them are coming stay tuned for more videos in general so subscribe so you don't miss them like i said follow me on instagram if you want to keep up with me i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one bye